What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to catch crabs to use for sheepset fishing. I forgot the most important tool when you're trying to get mud crabs. This here is a gardening tool with three spikes I got from Home Depot. Uh, we're going to use this to just like flip the rocks instead of using your hands because you'll cut up your hands with these uh, oysters. They're very sharp. So highly recommend one of these tools. Um, it's like five bucks from Home Depot. All right, let's go down there and collect some crabs. Let's start flipping these rocks here using the tool. It makes it faster when you, when you have the proper tool. Here's one already. Little guy, perfect, perfect size bait right here. Let me wash them off. Show you guys what a mud crab look like. That's something I'd fish with. Shout out to, to Bush for putting me on this tool here. It makes it easy to flip these rocks without getting cut up. The reason why you want to look for your own crabs is because sometimes when it gets super cold, these tackle shops might not have fiddler crabs. Uh, they're hard to come by when it's super cold. So it's good to, to know how to catch your own bait. All right, we're going to spend probably about 15 to 20 minutes flipping these rocks. And sometimes you come across these crabs with the stripes on them. Do not harvest those. Those are uh, stone crabs. Those are illegal to, um, to harvest. And you can tell, let's see if I can uh, find one here. You know, I always wonder what kind of crab this is right here. They look like a look like spider or something. All right, I'm actually struggling a little bit. I thought it'd be quick, but oh, here it is. Here, here's the crab. I want to show you guys. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, that's a... Look at this crab here. I'm gonna have to bring this, this crab closer to the camera. So, um, oh, I lost him. Still trying to find that. That's a good one right here. You guys probably can't see it. Oh, here it is. Here's the crab I was talking about. See if I can just wash him off. Wash the mud off. You can see him right there. What kind of crab is that? If you guys know what kind of crab this is, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I've used it for, uh, for sheep's head fishing and I don't know, nothing seems to want to eat them. I don't know if they're good bait or not. Let me know if you guys have experience with these crabs, but we're going to let this one go. There's a bunch of, uh, you know, these little snails. They're great bait for sheep's head too. We got probably a dozen already in the bucket and it's only been 10 minutes. Here's another good one, decent one right here the size I personally personally like to use right there something like that you know this is why this is why sheep's head love oyster bars you know if you go out here to my right there's a lot of oyster bars out there and on the edge of these oyster bars there'll be sheep's head stacked up as well as uh, uh, redfish too these 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 fish they feed off they feed on uh, these crabs and a lot of a lot of bait fish like to hang out around oyster bars too, like your mullet, little finger mullet. So you get other predator fish hanging around the oyster bars too. Oh, here's a bigger one, one of those crabs. Oh, he's trying to pinch me. I've not had any luck with these uh, these crabs here. I've used them in the past and no bites on them. Let me know if you guys have any luck with these crabs here. I don't even really know what they're called. I have no idea what they're called. I'm gonna let that one go. Good size bait, I mean, but I just don't have any luck with them. All right, so we didn't get as many crabs as I thought we'd get, but um, got probably a couple dozen there. And good, good size, good size bait for sheep's head. I know some of you guys are probably looking at my bucket and like, oh, those are all small. Those are not gonna catch the big ones, but You'd be surprised. These little small crabs will catch big sheephead. Just got on this boardwalk. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to catch mangrove tree crabs. I see one over there already. So here's 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 the trick. You see one, right? I mean, these guys will, these guys can hear you. Sometimes when you're near them and they hear you talking, they'll just like start start running. But surprisingly, this guy here is just, he's not bothered at all. So we're just, we're just gonna walk up to him real quick and just scoop him up. Just like that. Just like that. It's a good one right there. These guys are fast. That's actually a female. You can tell because the claws are tiny. 
Let's see if we can get uh, maybe like a dozen. They are pretty challenging to, to, to get, like I said, because they're so fast. Here's another one here. I got them. Just like that. Gotta be quick with it. You know, sometimes these guys, they'll, uh, they'll wrap around one of these branches and you won't see the full body, but you'll see their legs, like their little legs. And all you have to do is go like this, just like that. Just grab the whole, the whole branch. Super windy, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see the trees, or the mangrove trees blowing. It's, it's crazy. It's like 20 knots out there. But it is that time of year where it gets super windy. You just got to pick your days. <laughs> You're, you're not going to, I mean, most likely you're not going to get the perfect day to go fishing. Sometimes you just got to get up and just go. Find a spot where it's ducked off. Use this, uh, this app called Windfinder. Let me pull it up for you guys. It's free. This app right here, windy.com. Not Windfinder, windy. And you can tell, look, look, how, look how fast it's, uh, it's blowing. Like 18 knots. That is insane. And we're kind of protected right here a little bit. Oh, here's a couple right here. Let's see if I can get both of them. Got one. Oh, lost that one. Just got that one right there. Pretty decent one too. Another female added to our collection. All right, this guy is pretty big. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach him. He's pretty far out. He's way out there. I don't think I can pull this tree to me. There's no way. He's all the way. He's behind the branch right there. I won't be able to get him, unfortunately. You got to keep moving. I'm starting to think, you know, I'm starting to think that getting these, these mud crabs are a lot easier than trying to get the mangrove crabs. And they'll work just as good. I'm done looking for crabs. Let's go fishing. All right, we just pulled up to the spot, tying on a hook with the loop knot. That's a size number one art SSW by owner. Typically, I go with the uh, the Gorilla Light, but SSW one art should be should be good. A couple of decent ones here. I don't know if they'll take it though. I, don't know, I just don't know. Oh, he took it. He took it, couldn't resist, could not resist the mangrove crab. He's all tangled up. It's not all that big, a little undersized. Let's put him back in the water. What is this here? It's not feel like a, a little mangrove snapper. <laughs> Mangrove snapper ate the mangrove crab. How about that? Little guy though. See ya. All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap. Thought I was gonna crush it when I came out here, but I was wrong. You know, these fish are finicky. I was seeing some really big ones, but they were not biting. Caught just that one small one, but we're gonna have to come back out here again in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Definitely wear boots if you're planning on walking on oysters, uh, looking for mud crabs because those barnacles, man, they will mess you up. You can get a pair of uh, rubber boots for like 25 bucks at a tackle shop. Like I know St. Pete Fishing Outfitters carry them. But anyways, um, hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.